All right, Coach Doherty, welcome back from the long road trip, kind of up and down. Yeah. Um, um, played well against uh, top ranked or uh, nationally ranked UCLA for about 30 minutes, and then up and down against USC. Struggled in the first half against Washington, but then kind of showcased on, on national TV that uh, there's some potential here with this young group. Well, I love the fight and the character our team showed. You know, uh, all three games, I, I thought that uh, you know we were playing really hard, we're really trying to do everything we can to play together, and that's exciting. Um, you know, the, the big thing for us is we have to take the ne next step as a program, and that next step is to be more consistent, you know, for 40 minutes. And we're getting closer and closer uh, each day. I, I think our practices are, are, are a good tell of the fact that we're going harder in practice, our, our execution, our enthusiasm, our ability to really focus on what, what we're working on is improving each day. And, and I believe if we could continue to do that practice, it's certainly going to carry over into games. Talk a little bit about how you thought your young team handled, you know, the long trip, uh, first really long trip, you know, three games in, in, yeah. in five days. So talk a little bit about that. Uh, you know, I think uh, for the most part, I mean, remember this team is two thirds of the team is freshmen and sophomores, and and all. Fortunately for us, you know, we we made some longer trips right before Christmas to Louisville and Syracuse, New York, and some things like that. But this is a good group. I tell you, they're a lot of fun. Um, they're excited to to get out and see the other parts of the world, you know, a, as a team and have some fun. And at the same same time, I think they do a pretty good job of reeling themselves back into the gym when it's time to go to work. So, it's a it's a refreshing group to be around. They they appreciate the opportunity of, of seeing the entire country and, and getting out there. Um, you know, it's tough. I, I think the biggest challenge for them right now is that because we're back at school, um, they're missing a lot of school. So, uh, we are working hard with our tutors on the road, and obviously when we get back, we we have to make up a lot of lost time. But that that's I think our biggest concern is just that we're not losing anything. I Academically. Kind of lost in the Washington game was the performance of Carly Noyce, who obviously played well on both ends, uh -huh. but set the school record for blocks. So just kind of a, a note on, on Carly, and, and she's been here all four years. Well, Carly's just, uh, she's an outstanding individual. You know, she's very bright, and she's going to be a great teacher. You know, here pretty soon she's going to be graduating. But, you know, she has the most experience of anybody in, in our program. And she's somebody who, who's always steady for us. Uh, defensively, uh, she she really knows the system. I think she executes it at a very high level. I think she's able to talk her teammates through, especially our matchup, and so that the coverages are spot on. Uh, and, and then, she, you know, she's a competitor. You know, she wants to win every game. I think she's had some, some unbelievable games this year, and it's exciting to see her play as well as she is playing her senior year. It's nice that she's got some of the records and be in the record books for those things. Uh, I, I think the other thing that Carly's trying to do is she's trying to lead with a lot of enthusiasm, which is not, uh, you know, she's a really nice person, but that's not always her personality. And I, I think that, uh, you know, that, that is helping the younger kids come along because they really respect her and look up to her. So great leadership, outstanding play, and uh, she's certainly the anchor of our defense. And then finally, uh, talk a little bit about this week, kind of a unique challenge of facing Washington on Tuesday and then turning around and facing them again on Sunday. You know, what adjustments do you have to make yeah. and, you know, and, and what kind of uh, challenges does that possess? Well, I think that it's a unique situation. First year that the Pac-12 has had back-to-back -back rival games. Um, I, I'm not so sure how that's going to end up working. I think we have to get through it a year and look back and evaluate as coaches and, and with the commissioner and decide what's best for the game. But, you know, I think the biggest concern uh, for us is to make sure that, that we are really focused on the adjustments for the second time around. Uh, we fortunately do have, you know, a few days to do that. We've had, you know, about 24 hours, about 36 hours to watch a lot of tape to evaluate and then share the tape with the team. Had a good practice this morning. Um, but, you know, certainly it's not a situation where you have to worry about kids not being motivated back-to-back -back games with your rival games, uh, you know, six days apart. And one more thing, uh, Cougs have heart, so obviously a very uh, special yeah. day uh, close to you and your family. So talk yeah. a little about that day. Yeah, this is our sixth year to, to have a game uh, recognized with Cougs have heart for sudden cardiac arrest and CPR and getting defibrillators out publicly more in the schools. Hats off to Lincoln Middle School here in Pullman. We were able to certify the entire eighth grade class uh, right before Christmas. We're going to recognize all those students uh, at Cougs have heart at the game on Sunday. But, you know, our, our feeling is, if we can get out there and spread the, the awareness of, of the prevalence of uh, cardiac deaths because of sudden cardiac arrest and the need for people to understand CPR. It's so simple now. 
and to be able to put more defibrillators in schools and, and for people to be able to utilize them to save lives, that's real important to us. But uh, just so thrilled to see that whole eight, the whole eighth grade class over there at Lincoln Middle School get certified in CPR.